What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I figure that I'm going to do a room update um, because I think I'm going to be changing things around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus in on basically what it is now and then do an after thing because it's not going to be major, but it's going to be something that's more comparable, you know? You'll see what I mean. So I just wanted to show a few things that I have over here. My X-Men poster signed by Alec Ross. Alex Ross is the man, signed there, framed. I have my Beast and my diorama of Beast and the White Queen, Old Man Logan. I got the Venomsaurus Rex. I have my Namors there. And then at the bottom there, I got some signed books and all the cards I have put up, but you know how it is. Hot Toys Colson. My Venom Spider Man from Cotabayuca. Sideshow Thing, the movie one. I have Black Bolt and Medusa. Magneto. And I also have the Juggernaut. Up top, I have the Sabretooth Wolverine. I'm just going to go across and come back. This is the Cyclops PF. My Deadpool PF. Vision PF there. Bucky as Spider-Man. I'm Bucky as Captain America. Psylocke, of course. I have uh, my Hawkeye PF. I got the three... Iron Man over here in the corner, Gambit, another Wolverine and Sabretooth, I have X-23 and uh, the X-Force, I believe the X-Force Deadpool by Kota Bayuka. she's by Bowen, and I have Iron Fist in his red suit. And of course, you guys seen the Spider-Man versus uh, Venom diorama from Bowen. And of course, I have the Cyclops PF, regular version. I have the Cyclops Comicette. Let me see, maybe this light's too much for me. See, there you go. With the head here buried. <laughs> I don't know where to put it. And I didn't feel like leaving it in the box. Plus the box is upstairs already in the attic. Of course we have Bullseye and Daredevil. Now right down here is a shelf dedicated to Spider-Man and his villains. Rhino, Carnage. I have the Green Goblin, Venom. Over here is the Sandman. And then right in front of them on the table, I have my collection of the Avengers, which I showed before. You know, I'm not going to get into too much details because it's all up there. It's all online already with my little Eagle Moss Ant Man to give it that little flavor of smallness. You know how he gets. I have a signed picture underneath that of Spider-Man. And look at this, man. I don't know if anybody noticed, knows this, but I have a signed baseball by Todd McFarlane. And people go, wow, why you have a baseball signed by him? But he was a minor league baseball player at one time, and he was aspiring to be pro. But his art was a lot better than his game, I guess. I have a board, a uh, poster board of Wiz Comics. Shazam. And over here, I have this framed Batman piece from the 60s, I believe. And that one's pretty hard to get your hands on. Bart Sears doing the violator. Have that signed by the man himself. It's in this little frame thing. But this is something I like the best. As you see, I have Scar. Hulk, Silver Surfer, and I have the Red Hulk up here. 
But if I pan back, I haven't really gave and I didn't give Spider-Man here any love yet. This is by Bombex. It's a sculpted piece, but it comes with a wire on it, and it's you know one of those cool pieces you can hang up. So that's what I did. I hung him, and he's upside down, which is classic. So I'll zoom back a little bit, or I'll move back a little bit, and you can see that this is my Hulk shelf here. I have actually nine Hulks from the variant Bowen, my Astro Bowen. I have Hulk Smash Bowen. Joe Fix It, another Bowen statue. I have the She-Hulk. Now this is Layla. This is, I believe, uh, his daughter, either from a different world or different dimension. I also have the Gladiator Hulk by Bowen. And I have the Retro Hulk, Gray. And the artist that made this one was uh, Troy McDevitt, great sculptor. I've spoken to him online. He's really cool. I believe this is the Hard Hero Hulk. And down here, I have the Kotobuyuka Hulk. Now, if I pan back, the only reason I give you this look is because I have the thing premium format on the floor here. But I have them right next to my Fantastic Four. So if I pan out, you see they look kind of cool together. I have this table back here with the Fantastic Four's villains. I have the Galactus. I have Doctor Doom, Super Scroll, Annihilus. I got a small silver surface sculpt from Bowen, and I put that globe there between the legs of Galactus because I figured it looked like a world, not ours, but a world, and it's a sculpt too, but I found it in, a, in the, where I work at, and it, and it fits beautifully. It looks really cool there, and over here are the three, I would like to say, stages of the angel. And right above him, this is, um, how do you say, it's a, it's a silk screen angel uh, in his original costume. And this was the scene, uh, this was a, a, a famous cover where they were, protesting mutants, telling them to go back to their place, get out of their whatever, and he's saving a little mutant girl from the crowd. But if you notice, it's just crazy, man. This is a one-of-a-kind, guys. Nobody has this one. This one was made for me by an artist that was in a building I used to work in by the name of Romano, and it was made in 94. And this is called the monoprint. He, he just put it there. The angel monoprint. Great, great piece. I've had it since 94. Amazing. I went to the 93 Philadelphia Comic Con. And I met this young lady. And she signed it to Big Vic. With love, Vamp 93. And I got a picture with her there. See? That was way back in the day. I was a lot bigger then than I am now. I got a vamp piece and by the artist himself there. That is a classic Van Prella print. Signed by the artist and by Van Prella herself in 94 because I did go to a comic convention and I did get to see her again. I have my Nick Fury, Comic Cat, Mystique, Ghost Rider, Ultron on the throne, and look who I got next to him. Thanos on the throne. I have Mistress Death that came separate, but put them together and they look really cool. 
I got that Hellshock ash can, and it's signed by Jay Lee. That might be one of the giveaways. Who knows? I, I, I really would like to give it to someone that would appreciate it. And my Dead Devil Punisher comic cat with the little PVC figure of the Punisher there. The Abomination. And that poster there of Spider-Man and his enemies. That is actually see-through. That's a clear one. All The only color there is just the characters. If I was to take that off, it could be any color background I want it to be because it's actually a plastic piece, which is like hot, man. Really cool. Now, on top here, you guys remember Wildstar, number one? Well, this is the gold cover, and it's signed by Jerry Ordway. Really cool guy. I met him. He was mad cool, and I met him in 93. All right? I also have my Spawn number one, signed by Todd McFarlane. And I have this comic book here, Cold-Blooded. North Star made this book. It's a relatively unknown book, but I don't know, man. If you're into comics, maybe you know about this. But I have it signed by the artist. I believe it's Jones or something like that. You know, so that's the, 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 the baddest piece there. That's real nice. And I also have underneath here my Silver Surfer Comic Cat, which is an exclusive. It comes with the print that I put right up there. And of course, let me move this chair out of the way. I have my spirit, my city screams. It's a poster framed and it's not a canvas or nothing. It's, I believe, made out of wood. Really nice piece. You know, this is where the magic happens on my computer. 46 inch uh, aquas. Is my monitor, my whole setup's there, my laptop's in the other room. I have signed cards in a frame that I haven't really put up yet. But I got Joe Jusco's autograph and some really crazy pieces. Hold on, let me see if I can set this up where we can view a little bit of it. Joe Jusco signed a... Uh, I believe this one and I have this one signed by Mr. Kane, Gil Kane. I have a Hell Shock signed by Lee. This lady that fell in, I have to fix her, but that's all chrome. Max, you know what I'm saying? And look at this. This one was made was signed by Al Simmons, the character of of, of Spawn himself. You know, he was there, and he was the character behind Spawn. You know, got a little DC in there, Superman, a uh, gold card. You know what I'm saying? This is another Joe Jusco right here. My Van Prella ash can here, or is it a card? I know it's a card, signed. You know, I mean, I used to have boxes and boxes of comics but I don't know so what I want to do is I want to remove everything from this wall and I'm gonna put those shelves back there I'm gonna put these and I'm gonna start them from here wrap it around and then I'm thinking about putting some shelves in the back here that way I can put more stuff because it's getting a little crowded here as you can see you know so that's a look at the room, guys. All right. Have a good one. Peace out.